Hey, how's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys something really cool that I had actually found. Well, there's been a few actual tutorials about how to do this, but people have been finding out how to create a ski mask inside of Rec Room. Now, this is using the hat adjustment glitch that I showed you quite a while ago, but it's more advanced using two steps instead of the average one. If you guys don't already know, it manipulates other items' actual adjustment features for that other item's greater good. For example, if you can't get a big item to move much, you may be able to make it move a lot by using a smaller items adjustment features. Basically, people have found out how to make ski mask with them, or just normal mask, whatever you want to call it, and it's pretty cool. All credits go to them, I just want to make that known, this is not my idea at all. I just kind of wanted to talk about it because it's pretty cool. Now this is going to be extremely simple. Basically what you want to do is get any sort of starter outfit. I prefer to go bald, you can have hair, whatever, because you can still customize your actual character even when this glitch is applied. But I mean, if you guys know what you want with that actual beanie, then go for it. I'm just going to go with bald because that's just going to be my little template for this video. Starting off with this, we'll start off with getting the beanie. Obviously any beanie is going to obviously work, I mean it's all the same thing, but I'm going to to choose black just because now that i have this beanie i'm not going to do anything to it i'm just going to leave it alone and from this i'll save my outfit since i have an outfit that has a beanie saved then i'm going to uh get ready to start our process you need the retro gamer headset if you guys don't have that um very unfortunate but you should be able to find it inside your new player challenges once you have this you'll click adjust now you'll actually latch on to all its adjustment settings and press outfits once you have outfits, then you'll press load on the outfit that you actually want to customize. Once you have that, you'll press the customize button, then you'll have all these. Now for this actual thing, once you get the adjustment features, you're going to actually want these settings. You'll want the first setting to be looking like this, you'll want the second setting to be looking like this, and you'll want the third setting to be looking like this. This is how you're going to be able to do it, and this is how you can get the best results. Now from this, what you will do is you'll go to your outfits, then you'll save it, and uh, you know, start the process all over again. But this time, you will actually use the bow. You'll go to custom Customize, exit out of this, then you know, search up bow. Once you got the bow, just equip it, press adjust. Now you got its adjustment settings. Then you're going to go back to your outfits. Then you're going to press load. Once you got that, go to customize and you then you have all its adjustment settings again. Now you guys are going to want these actual settings for when you guys are doing it. You're going to want this first setting to look like this. You're going to want this setting to look like this. And you're going to want this last setting to look like this. This is how you get it almost perfectly. And as you guys can see, a little bit of my head and ears clip through, but that's just because I have them equipped. Now from this, you can freely customize your actual character, but it's best to save it right away. I'll save ya. Now I have this basic little template that I can use. Now I can customize it any way that I want, either using, you know, glasses or whatever. Something like this would be cool. If I really wanted to, I could also use, uh, you know, some sort of hair. Now, obviously, now that I got rid of the ears and I equipped some hair and an actual, you know, glasses or whatever, I can have some sort of look that looks something like this. This is kind of just a little rough sketch of what you guys can actually do with the uh, new beanie items, and it's pretty cool, honestly. So what do you guys think? You guys like it? It's literally like a whole new mask item for very cheap, honestly. I'm excited to see some more outfit combinations with this, and I wonder how people are going to be able to utilize this. This glitch, honestly, is really good. Do you guys like this? Let me know if you guys are going to try it in game, and let me know if this video was helpful. Credit to the people who made the tutorials, thank you guys for showing the Reckon community, and uh, yeah. I'll catch all you guys inside the next video. Be sure to leave your guys' thoughts down inside the comments below. And whilst you guys are actually commenting, be sure to subscribe and punch that like button because it's very important to do so. I'll catch all you glitching friends later. And without further ado, Brofista.